Noah's Adventures on Legacy Farm presents Okay everybody and welcome back to Noah's Adventures on Legacy Farm and today we are still getting ready for the county fair that I showed y'all we were getting ready with with the gourds we were picking all the gourds down in the front and today we are going to frame a luna moth that I found hopefully and ash and mount some pictures that I took and got printed and all that so yeah um stay tuned for today we are entering all my gourds all that stuff it's gonna be awesome so yeah here you go okay so we have our luna moth right here that we are going to put in a shadow box and these are two uh, some of my favorite photos this one is from the trip to alabama at a place near gulf shores with that beautiful flower i did some editing on these so looks pretty crisp and we're going to mount them on the this board this like paper board and so yeah we're going to cut it to size and we'll pin the moth inside the shadow box so yeah that's what we are going to do Okay, so you saw just now in the time lapse of us gluing all these. We spray glued it with this stuff, this spray, spray glue. And this is the first one we did. We're going to check and see how it's faring. Ooh, um, sticking a bit, but that's okay. Um, that is looking very good. I don't know if it's looking that well in the GoPro, but it should be look pretty nice but we did decide not to enter the moth because just um they do not allow glass or wood or anything so what we're doing would definitely not allow it to be um in the fair but that's okay um i we're still going to frame it but just not today but we're gonna frame it and do all that and just hang it up in our in my room so yeah this is it um we're just using these things probably cover this one back up sorry it's got a little bit of glare in the gopro um looking. we're looking good look at that holding. yeah look at that looking really nice mm. Coming up a little on these edges. Oh, yeah. I don't know if maybe the sun might be too much. Yeah. I don't want it to 
You want to unveil this one? Sure. Kind of see, because if it's coming up, we can we can do something a little bit better to oh, get it to hold. This is heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. Look, there's a whole like giant set of wrenches. Yeah. I wonder if we should just let them stay covered as they dry. Mm-hmm. Look at that. I like that one. I love that picture. Alright, so I'm going to you need more weight. More broad weight. I think this one's good. That one's more than sufficient. Let's move it over here though. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we need something that goes all the way to the edges. This one doesn't quite do that. I might go get a big book. Boom! That one's set back. Yeah, this is a 33 piece cobalt wrench set. And it weighs probably like 20 pounds. Really heavy. <laughs> but yeah, I told y'all we're just using this stuff. We got it at um, Hobby Lobby yesterday. But today, like I said, is the day we're going to enter them in we're going to enter enter them in in the afternoon and of course i will film all that and then i'll show you the results if i win win anything which i hopefully do so last year i did pretty good so yeah um here we got some two giant books. heavy books yeah those now be what good. we want is something to hold those edges down tight yeah so yeah there you go so this is the moth in the shadow box. I just wanted to show y'all because it's just really cool. Just look at that. It's so pretty. I just found it out in the yard and I wanted to keep it. Just because, like, I mean, look at that. It's so beautiful. Like, who would not want to keep that? But that is the Luna Moth. And I do have some butterflies that I got at a store. Um, like a week ago and I, I hung them up in my room they're really pretty so I can add this thing to my little collection I got I did have another moth but he just fell in pieces and I had to throw them away sadly so but I did get this one done some pieces fell off of him like his little feelers or stuff but it turned out pretty good so yep I hope y'all enjoyed the moths and our pictures are drying under these things and I'll definitely show y'all what we do when we're done and we gotta shine up my gourds and do all that kind of stuff so yeah.